Welcome to one and all. In this video, we are going to describe our project a practical application of homomorphic encryption in cloud. We are going to give an overview of homomorphic encryption and then show a live demo of our application that we implemented. First of all, what actually is homomorphic encryption? Well, it's an encryption technique that allows to perform calculations on the encrypted data directly without need to decrypt it. Let's say we have two inputs A and B. A is encrypted to EA and B is encrypted to EB. There is some operation performed on these encrypted data EA and EB which results in an output F of EA EB. This result after decryption will correspond to F of AB that is as if the operations are performed directly on encrypted data. Let's look at a real-life scenario where it is applicable. Suppose there is an organization which has a large user base and collects the data from users into their data stores. Now, to analyze their user behavior the organization needs to perform some computations on this data. Generally cloud computing platforms are used for this. The data they collected can be encrypted and sent to cloud platform. The cloud then performs the computations and returns the result to the organization. Now, the obtained results can be decrypted and used. This way the organization don't have to compromise on security of their user's data. There are three categories under homomorphic encryption. The first is partial homomorphic encryption, PCHE, which supports only one type of operation either addition or multiplication but an infinite number of times. For example, Elgamal Cryptosystem, Palier Cryptosystem and RSA Cryptosystem come under this category. Next type is Somewhat Homomorphic Encryption, SHE, which supports both addition and multiplication operations, but only a limited number of times. And the last one is Fully Homomorphic Encryption, FHE, developed from the SHE scheme. FHE is capable of using both addition and multiplication any number of times. Let's have a look at some of the applications. Suppose, a medical information of patients is to be processed to diagnose whether a patient has certain disease or not. Homomorphic encryption can be used here to process medical reports, and only the authorized staff will have access to that data. Data after encryption can be sent to cloud computing platforms without any concern of security in these untrusted environments. One of the serious problems in internet elections is security. The votes of users should not get manipulated. Votes by people that are encrypted need to be decrypted by the election staff for counting and deciding the winner. With homomorphic encryption, there is no need to decrypt the votes, and computations can be directly performed on the encrypted votes, which makes them resistant to manipulation. Other applications include machine learning, blockchain, and multi-party computations. Homomorphic encryption can be used in machine learning models to train on encrypted data and thus preserving privacy of the data. For this project, we had implemented a website which uses fully homomorphic encryption to perform secure computations in cloud. The users can upload their data that needs to be processed. For example, an Excel sheet. The application then encrypts the data and sends the data to Azure Cloud. Inside which functions are running to perform these computations. The results returned from cloud are then decrypted by the application and returned back to users. The authentication credentials of the user like password are stored in a cloud database after encryption. This way the data stored in cloud database can be secured. Now, let's have a look at live demo of our web application. Hello everyone, welcome to demo of our project. Now I'm going to show the working of the homomorphic encryption algorithm that we have implemented. So first let's see the command line demo and then we will go to the website. So this program takes input from user and performs operations according to user input. So let me run this. So it asks for the input choice. 1 for homomorphic addition, 2 for multiplication and 3 to exit. Let me test with addition and enter two numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the program displays the encrypted version of number 1, encrypted version of number 2 
and it also displays the encrypted version of the result of addition. This addition is performed without decrypting and after decrypting the result is 1023. Now let me select multiplication and enter two numbers. I am entering randomly. So it displays the result of addition, result of multiplication and the encrypted versions of it and also the decrypted result. So this is how the algorithm actually works. Now let me show you the website demo. So this website has been implemented in Python using Flask and the front end is HTML and CSS pure. So first the uh, website asks to log in into the account. So I do not have any account current now so I am register I, I will register for a new account. After entering the credential, it takes turn time and we can be logged in. So let me log in with the account that I have just created. This is how the home home page of the website looks like. So here we have to upload the Excel sheet that we want to analyze. We have given the sample demo of how the format should be. Currently only this format will be supported in our website. Like three subject and one student ID column. So you can also download sample file from this link. So this sample file can be used to test the application. Now we have to choose an Excel file. And let me choose this. So first it will displays all the marks results that are currently in the Excel sheet. Then after clicking on calculating, then it sends the request to cloud and cloud will perform the computations and the cloud returns the result. And then the website will decrypt the result and display it to you. So here we can see subject wise average marks has been displayed and for each student total marks, average marks and grades are given. So this is all our website is. Now if you go to our book page, here we have mentioned how what technologies we use, how the website works and what are the constraints. So this is our team. Now let me show you the how it is running in the cloud. So here we can see these are two functions that have been deployed into the cloud. They can be accessed using a URL. So these functions have been written here in the cloud function folder. So when a request comes to this, it will perform the computations and it do not have access to secret key. So our data won't be get leaked. And in the database, we are storing user details by encrypting their password. And the encryption is done using the, our algorithm. So here you can see the password is an encrypted version of what the user has entered. 